Do you understand what I can do to you? We've barely begun to explore the agonies I can inflict upon you. And I have all the time in the world. With your army surrounding this fortress, I'm not going anywhere. Unless you tell me. Tell me who this warrior is who presses me. His name. Where did he come from? Nowhere. He came from nowhere and gathered us to him. Then chased you and your trolls back to your hole like rats. I keep asking the same questions. I don't want to hear the same answers. Yeah! Who is he? Who is he? He's the one who's going to destroy you. I am the Lord Mordor. I held the Five Lands in my grip. You think you can defy me? You think some phantom's going to defeat me? Do you? Stubborn. Too stubborn for his own good. A loose tongue would have served him better than a strong will. What of the siege, Mark? Any change? No, Lord Mordan. Our enemies continue to throw themselves at our walls. We continue to repel them. For now. How pitiful we've become. Once the Five Lands shook with our advances. Now we hide behind walls. Come along. We'll see what we see. Well, this could be better. How many? Fifteen thousand, Lord. Maybe more. Reinforcements arrive by the hour. They smell blood. I would too. So close. And so far beyond my reach. I nearly put all five lands under my heel. Separately, none of them was my equal. Then he appeared. As if he'd stepped out of myth and forge the ragged survivors into an army my forces cannot stand against. He's run me to ground like a wounded animal. And I don't even know his name. He's out there somewhere, now that the end is close. Looking Stone. Oh yes, he's out there. But where? Where? Ah, there. Damn him! Who is he? Who brings this army against me so that I'm forced to cringe in my castle? Go fetch my blade. They'll breach us soon. I want to be ready. Forward! The curse run before us! <sighs> the walls are ours! <laughs> A king's ransom to the man who takes Mordad's head! Come to me, all of you! This fortress will not fall while I yet draw breath! Drive back those who would bring us to- ah! Your armies came to our lands and burned my people out of their areas. You hunted us for sport. My people have a saved. Vengeance flies on swift wings! I too have a say. Death isn't finicky. But its appetite must always be sated. How many, Mordad? How many of us do you think you can kill before one of us takes your head? Don't bother reaching for your blade. You'll be dead before you ever lay hands on it. Forgive me for allowing him to get so near, Lord. Are you well? I live, Mark. For now. The battle? For they break our lines, spill over our walls. We fight valiantly, but their numbers are overwhelming. The time to end this draws nigh. Do 
you remember, Mark? This is how my conquest began. In smoke and blood. Smoke and blood. As long as they've yet to topple the walls, perhaps this day can still be saved. Give the order to abandon the skirmish lines and exterior defenses. We'll pull back within the central fortress and make them come in after... Do you feel something? I still stand. And while I stand, the day is not yet yours. Face me. Show yourself! Mortar? I call myself Aiden. You're the one who's done this to me? If you ask whether I am he who has helped bring about your defeat, yes. So the mystery is just a man after all. Somehow I expected someone more... regal. You count your victory prematurely. Are you willing to come take it personally? Slay him, Lord! Let us cut down Morda! Hold! Enough blood's been spilled. Once, you cast a shadow across nearly all of the Five Lands. That is now at an end. It's as if you did not exist before you moved against me. Where did you come from? I came to this place to remove myself from strife, to be at peace. I had no desire to involve myself in this conflict, but you left me no choice. You forced me to do that which I find most repugnant. Choose sides. My army is victorious, while yours is no more. Conclude this while you yet live. Surrender? I've never done so. I'm not about to do so now. Unfortunate, but not unexpected. I've seen death and destruction on grand scales. I'd hoped I'd seen the last of it. You dare give me your back? After all you've cost me, you give me your back? I told you. This is at end. Ah! Who... Who are you? Tell me that much. A king who wishes to be king no longer. Then hear me, king no longer. With my last breath, I swear vengeance upon you, upon you, and the five lands. Mordath is no more! Hey! Freedom for the five lands! Hail Aiden! We can never repay the debt we owe you. You snuffed out Mordas evil so that the Five Lands and all its peoples might be free again. And all the while, you remained a mystery to us, Aiden. Let us know you better. You led us to victory in war. Now lead us in peace. Be sovereign over all Five Lands. We need you, so that this can never happen again. You honor me, yet I must decline. I have led before. My reign spawned division and destruction. I have seen those I considered my children tear at one another's throats like animals. I no longer wish to be involved in such conflicts. There's much to be done. Rebuilding, recovery, the healing of wounds. These things you must do for yourself. You must stand on your own without the intervention of one who has failed at the role of monarch. But I would not abandon you. If your need is great, I can be summoned. This brought death to Mordath. Let it be broken into five fragments. 
and the five fragments scattered to the five lands. These shall be your tools to rouse me. They are as the five lands themselves. Separately, they are mere pieces, but joined in a single purpose, they can accomplish much. If a threat dire enough to unite the five lands arises, I will return to you. I came to your aid because I could not do otherwise. But I have no desire to become further embroiled in the affairs of men. So I must bid you farewell. Then leave with our thanks, Lord. Should you ever think to reconsider, we are your servants. Wait, Eden. Who are you? Truly? In truth, I've been many things. But now, I simply want to be alone. At the risk of repeating myself, I again have to advise against this thing you intend strongly. Why? Weren't my previous choices successful? They've all fomented the conflict we intended to reignite. What makes you believe that this one would be any different? But previous sigil bears were... Uh, with the previous sigil bears, you at least accepted my input. This time you seem determined to ignore my advice. What you propose could have dire consequences. Mordath was a source of great evil before. Do you think being dead for three centuries will have improved his mood? It could become a difficulty in the greater scheme. Reconsider, please. Morda threw this world into conflict when he lived. He'll do the same when he's brought back.